guys, what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Mommy Reviews and today we're going to be making dough in our Ninja processor using the dough function. You guys, I really wanted to put it to the test and try uh, making bread with the dough mixer attachment and you guys, it did not disappoint. You don't need a fancy, a fancy, smancy, you know, uh, stand mixer. You can actually just use this processor using the dough function and we were able to make this dough and the result is a loaf of white bread. And you guys, it is so easy. I wanna show you guys, it's very simple to make in our Ninja Foodi processor or our Ninja processor. There's no hand kneading. All it is is just throwing it in here, allowing it to mix a couple times and you have your dough ready to rise and be baked. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in any of the items that I used today in the video, be sure to check the description box below. I'll have the links to all those items. And if you want me to try anything in the Ninja uh, processor, let me know in the comments, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what you're gonna need today is three cups of all-purpose flour, one packet of active yeast. If you have instant yeast, that's definitely fine as well. Uh, I'll be showing you how to activate the yeast. Also, one cup of warm water. You want it at least 105 degrees Fahrenheit between 105 and 115. Anything over that will kill the yeast and you don't want that, otherwise your dough won't rise. You want one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of sugar. All right, so we're gonna get started with the first part and that's just activating the yeast. Um, let me get a little measuring spoon here. All right, so what I like to do is I like to add just about a teaspoon or two. It doesn't really matter how much water. It's just putting enough water to go over the sugar because when we add the, uh, I'm putting four teaspoons. When we add the active yeast, it's going to start eating the sugar. All right. You're gonna take your packet of yeast and just add it on top. And you're going to see it get frothy. So we're gonna wait for it to start getting frothy and then I will show you guys close up what it looks like. Then we can add it to our food processor. All right guys, so I just wanna show you what it looks like while it's frothing. You can see it's frothing all around and that's about it. So it's going down to the sugar and eating it essentially. Um, but that is how you would activate it. Now we're going to go ahead and get started with using our dough mixer or the pro food processor for its dough feature. So what I have here is the dough um, attachment. We're going to add our three cups of flour and add it slowly so you don't have a puff of flour everywhere all right and then I like to add the salt really quick make sure you add your attachment here and what I do is I just mix in the salt really quick so all I'm gonna do is just turn it on and hit pulse really quick just to mix it up can add our yeast. And we're just gonna select, oh, sorry, our water too. <laughs> so I add all the water, but you may wanna add about a quarter cup of water to have on the side because you will see that we may need a little bit more water. So I'm gonna select dough and let the uh, whole function run and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up so you can see. Now the dough is in bits. Now what's gonna make it come together is a little bit more water. So I have here about a quarter cup of water. I'm just going to add half of that and you can eyeball it, you can add just a little bit and select dough again. All right, so now the dough is more formed, but there's two separate sections there. So what I'm gonna do is one last time, I'm just gonna add the remaining amount of water here. 
and select dough one more time. All right, let's take our hook out. There you have it. It mixed our dough for us. No fancy schmancy stand mixer. We just used the Ninja food processor and using the dough hook, we were able to knead our bread to the texture that we needed. And now you can let this sit for a few hours just to rise. And then you can put it in the oven and I'll have the instructions for that. You can put it in the oven or if you have the Instant Pot Air Fryer Lid or the Ninja Foodie Grill, I will have the links in the description box below where you can dehydrate to avoid having to let it rise uh, using those uh, devices, the Ninja Foodie Grill and the Air Fryer Lid to dehydrate it to make it rise in half an hour. Then you can use it to bake it. So if you have a conventional oven, you can do that as well. But this is how you would use the dough hook for the Ninja Foodie uh, or the Ninja Professional Processor. We use the dough hook. I know I mentioned we'd be using that. Next, I want to do uh, some keto cookies, uh, trying the dough hook as well. And I want to see how fast it is to make that. But you guys, in less than two minutes or a couple cycles, we have our dough already made. No hand kneading. The dough hook did it all, or the dough uh, mixer did it all so there we go I will show you guys um, what the after product looks like all right and there we have it we have our delicious homemade bread this is the new 2020 auto IQ professional processor you guys it is amazing I love it for the shredding of the cheese I know I have said that a couple times but I really mean it and this is just the cherry on top I love that I can have this out make my bread and no kneading involved no handwork all i do is let it rest and stick it in the oven and it's ready to go so that's it make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments what you guys want me to try next but until next time you guys have a great night